Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. I'm Brittany and this workout is coming to you from Fairfax Pilates. So it's gonna be a reformer based workout today. Uh, mostly intermediate with a few advanced exercises sprinkled in there to give you that added challenge. Now advanced exercises don't typically have modifications. So if you're going to work through this exercise workout with me today, I suggest that you have quite a bit of Pilates experience. You know how to make modifications for your body and um, you have the self-discipline to skip the exercise if you're not able to do it properly. Okay, so uh, just some experience, some self-discipline and a good attitude is what you need today. So if you wouldn't mind, set up your machine the way that it needs to be. Foot bar up, we're gonna begin with footwork. So foot bar up, get your three red springs on, set up your gear bar, your stopper, measure your straps, and I'll see you right back here. Welcome back. All right, let's get started. So as I mentioned in the uh, intro, we're gonna do uh, some footwork to begin. I'm gonna head um, and set up three red springs here. So go ahead and put your springs on and we will begin getting warm with some footwork. So first position, heels together, toes apart on the ball of the foot. And then let's move. So notice I'm going a little bit faster than usual. So as we start to work through some of the advanced exercises, we certainly want to have a little bit more pace on the footwork. And home. Change your feet to parallel. I'm going to go for a little foot massage. So I'm going to put it around the arch of my foot. So inhale out and in. Exhale out and in. If you try to go inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, you'll hyperventilate. So regulate your breathing, tighten in your waist. Last one on the heels. So draw the toes back towards you, dorsiflexion. So as I push back, I'm not pulling my toes towards me. They're gonna stay right there against an imaginary wall. I'm gonna do my best anyways. So just regulate that breathing. Relax your neck, your face, your shoulders, everything but the legs. and high half toes. Tippy toes are up toward the ceiling. Now three red springs are not required. You need to go a little lighter, of course. You can. One more each breath. Stay out. And I'm gonna go right into a run. The run can be done at any pace, slow and stretchy, or a little quicker, whatever you need. One more each way. Tippy toes, sink them both down nice and deep tippy toes and bring it all the way back 
heels in the corner, wide, second, out, in. These can be done at a little quicker pace as well. Now notice my palms face up. I prefer my palms up when I'm lying on my back for footwork. It reminds me to open up my neck and chest, relax the shoulders. Knees rotate inward. They come back together. You keep them internally rotated as they extend and then close them back up as you're able. Just warming up here. I'm not going for a full on beating with this workout, I promise you. We always want to feel better when we're finished. Never beat down. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you a couple of the advanced exercises as we progress through here. I'm just letting my knees, windshield wiper, side to side, stretch out your back. We're gonna do a little bit of back extension today. So I'm just kind of letting it move. All right, off the machine we go. All right, long stretch. One red, one blue, please. My foot bar, I'm sorry, my foot bar, my headrest is up. So I'm gonna go right into plank. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is sink my heels back. I'm putting my weight on my outer edge of my hand, backward and forward. Inhale, I'm moving back. Exhale, I'm coming forward. Four to go here, aiming for eight. Six. And eight. All right, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna move into some elephants here and then into first advanced exercise. So heels against the shoulder blocks. We're rounded through our backs, create a nice amount of flexion. So I'm trying to aim somewhere in here for that flexion. Legs go back. I'm going back to where they stretch in my calves. And then I'm going to lift up my tummy to pull them home. And then exhale. Keep mindfulness in the upper back, shoulders, neck area. Make sure that the effort is coming from the lower belly, not the shoulders. <sighs> Staying here. I'm gonna step the right foot forward, left leg back. So this one we borrowed from our yoga friends. I'm gonna straighten my legs, square my pelvis toward the foot bar, and notice my weight shifts back. From here, I'm gonna do a nice little cat and cow with my spine, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. This one feels so nice, this forward legs getting a nice deep stretch. When you're in this extension, we're gonna remain still and just move the legs forward and backward. The further you weight shift back, here easier, here bigger stretch. So listen to your body. You want to leave the legs straight, pelvis square to the foot bar, arms straight, and neck tension free. We're going to change the place of the feet. Close back to the shoulder rest as you can get it. Drop the shoulders off the ears. Weight shift back, square the pelvis. Cat, cow. Notice that when you drop your tummy, lift your head and tail, this forward leg just gets a really lovely stretch. Place your feet wherever you need to in order to create this length, pausing back and forth. So I see a lot of people pushing 
with their arms here. It's not a shoulder exercise. Legs. Think of your hands as kickstands. And the only part that's going to move then are going to be the legs, not the arms. And then we're in. All right, so tippy toes here. This one is up stretch. So we're going to round our back. And the legs lead the way. They start to go down, down, down. I'm in a plank. I move forward in a plank. Once my head goes across the shoulder, the foot bar, it's going to start to drop. I'm going to round through my upper back, middle back, lower back. The carriage has come to a stop. And I'm going to weight shift back over my feet. Feet lead the way. Down. My hips go down, middle back upper back, I'm in a plank, I move forward, head crosses, we round, 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 stay round, back, legs, down with the tail, low back, mid back, upper back, forward, upper, middle, lower, shift, feet, back, down, 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 forward, all the way up. Now we're going to stay in this rounded back position here and we're going to reverse it so round weight shift over the bar plank push back and i'm going to scoop up through my tummy and round and pull it in over the feet transfer forward drop out waist lifts up my belly pulls my legs in rounded shape goes over the bar drop plank Press, we round, one more, over, drop, back, round, round, round. Let's take it down to the knees. Okay, right into down stretch. So down stretch, the emphasis is going to be in this extension. So follow along here. We're gonna be rounded to start, because this is also how we'll finish, and it feels super amazing. So we're here. First thing that's going to happen, untuck the tail, find that back bend. Crazy hair. Press the legs back and you drop so you're in a back bend. Keep the shape. Bring it forward. Press it back. Inhale up. Exhale back. We do three. That was the third one. We come up. We go back and now we tuck in like a little child's pose to finish. If this feels too heavy on your shoulders, drop to a single red, please. So we're here, we're rounded. Lead with the tail, untuck, untuck in extension. Drive the legs back, you lower down uh, like a hammock. Shoulders to thighs, extension. Exhale back. <sighs> Inhale, lead the chest through the arms. Exhale back, <sighs> inhale up. One more time, go back with me here, back. And then we tuck, we round, lead with our tail, round, 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 round. Come in, okay. Front splits, I'm leaving the same springs. So, let me actually come back down here. So left knee down, left foot against the shoulder block, and my right foot is up on the bar. So if you want to take this nice little stretch first, let's, let's actually do that. So I'm just kind of in this sort of half split, allowing this right foot to drop under the foot bar and just stretch through the calf and Achilles a minute. And then come in. Now don't overthink it. This left knee lifts and we're going to come up to this standing position. So this back foot wants to be in a high half toe position and you drop down until your right knee is about 90 and the left leg is straight. Now, hands can go on the hips, arms can go in a T, and we're gonna move the forward leg, backward and forward. So I don't wanna create a hammock with my shape. I want my shoulders and my eyes to be level, forward and backward, and that happens because this front leg is what's moving. <sighs> Inhale back, exhale forward. 
So this back leg remains long and straight the whole time. And actually, this is the one that is working mostly. Ooh, keeping your balance, tight core one more time. And then we'll switch. Okay, so I'm gonna put the knee down first. So I'm even. And this left leg is up. And then we're just gonna press. Okay, so it's just a half split. I'm focusing really on trying to lower this heel under the bar, stretch the back of the leg. <clears throat> And then we're gonna come in. Okay, front splits, here we go. So making sure that the right foot feels very comfortable in that high half toe, same on the left. So I encourage you to get into this 90 degree knee on the front leg and a straight leg in the back before you lift your chest. Airplane arms makes that easier. If you feel stable, your hands can go to the waist. Find something stationary to keep your gaze. Helps with the balance. Inhale backward, exhale forward. We got four more here. Backward and forward. Backward and forward. Two go. Out and in. Out and in. Perfect. And then we'll come right down. All right, so we're gonna do that backwards later not now though meanwhile let's get out our box long box please and let's put the foot bars all the way down one red spring we're going to lay on our stomachs facing the tower for arms pulling straps Put your chest right at the front edge of the box. If more of you hangs off the front, you'll feel it in your lower back and nobody wants that. So we're gonna just choke up here, right above the clips. If your feet can, they're together, shoulders off the ears, palms inside facing so they're neutral. Paint those stripes to your hips and then return. I see a lot of people stop here Bring your arms all the way up to the seam of your pants. If you had a seam right on the stitching on the side, put those arms parallel with that. Anytime you're prone on your tummy, hip bones, pubic bone, press evenly to the box so that your low back has a back brace. Three, two, hold it here. Triceps and press. So keep the shoulders down away from the ears as we're working the upper body. This is an excellent postural exercise. Five, six, seven. Hold it back right into our airplane. So rotate the shoulders externally so the thumbs are higher than your pinkies. T A. T, A, five, open the collarbone across the front of your chest, make it nice and long and wide, three, two, one, lower, down. Okay, we're gonna hang up these straps. And then we come right off. So we're going to shift the box toward you first. And I'm going to drop the springs to just the blue. We are going to be doing uh, legs pulling straps or feet pulling straps here. Let me actually tuck that back in. All right, now, easy way to get on is to grab hold of the strap closest to you first. So this edge is flush with the side of the reformer, and we're gonna come up onto hands and knees. Before I put foot in strap, I like to do a little test run. I make all my students do a test run, meaning you don't put your foot in the strap. You weight shift a little bit over to the left. My right knee now is in the center of the back edge of the box. My left leg is hanging freely. So I always tell people, 
get these wiggles out of your back. So as the leg comes forward, let your back round. And as the leg goes back, let it arch. One more. Okay, now that's out of the system. Our back is now plank. This is gonna be our movement in the strap. All right, so I have the knees on, pull here, put this right over the left foot, shift the knee back to the center and a little bit uh, on the back edge here. And then the leg hangs down and it is in the strap. So we're gonna keep our back flat, pull, hip height, and then a release forward. Now you know when the um, rope comes to the hand that your leg is hip height. Try not to stop before the leg gets all the way up to the butt. Five. Six. Seven. Hold it back on eight right here. Now, without allowing your body to move in any way, open the leg out wide to the left and then down to the box. Straight back, wide left, and to the box. So you should feel that on your obliques. This has now become an oblique exercise. Back, around, down. Back, around. Try not to let your waist bend. Good news, that's over. Bad news, reverse. Up and around, down. Wide around and back. Caution that your, one of your arms is going to bend as you weight shift. So try to keep your body right in the middle. Two more. And last, let the leg come all the way forward, 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 and then just drop it out of the strap. Okay, shift to the other side. Grab hold of this strap in the front. We're up here, hands and knees. Test drive on both sides here. So the leg, Allow the back to get the wiggles out. Big ones, let's go three practices. And then create that plank-like back without moving when the leg moves. All right, I put the foot into the strap. Hands at the front quarters, my fingers kind of point out so I can catch the rope. Left knee shifts back, center, so my right leg can move without weight shifting in the hip. So if you see here on my right side hand, the rope comes up to my hand when my leg is at hip height. It's a little trick for you. Four. This is the easy part, this feels light. I know your legs could go much heavier, but it's those obliques that need the lighter spring. Right here, we're gonna hold, and we're going out wide, and then around. So watch that when your leg goes, you don't bend through your waist. That's the whole job. Keep your back straight. <clears throat> your back should be right in the center of the box, the spine should be right in the center of the box the whole time. Try not to let it do any lateral bending. I think that's eight, I hope that's eight. I'm getting tired. Reverse, wide and back. Tighten up your abs, press it around. Tighten up, neck is relaxed, the work is in the trunk. Four. Three, two, and one, all the way forward. Come on out of there. Okay, we're gonna throw an advanced exercise in here. Push the box back to the center, please. 
one red. Now, we're going to need both of the straps. You're going to put, so leave the ropes on the same side as they started. And I've just got my thumbs in here. I'm going to step forward and put my hands right on the front edges of the box so that there's free space in the middle for me to lay my tummy right in the middle and now I've got these straps on my thumbs and I can hold the edges of the box. So my knees and my elbows are going to move simultaneously. In this case, as we start, my elbows are bent, so are my knees. We're going to go through it slowly first. Arms and legs straight. Arms and leg begin to open. As my arms open, I'm going to lift my chest bend my elbows and knees yeah inhale straight exhale around and inhale bend i'm wrong exhale forward that feels better inhale back bend arms and legs open exhale here inhale reset exhale arms and legs wide Begin to lift the chest and then around. Exhale forward. Inhale, lift and around. Exhale. Inhale, prepare. Last one. Exhale, go. Arms and legs. Lift, 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 lift. Grab the box. We're going to get off exactly as we got on and then come back. I'm gonna leave one red spring on for teaser. Before we do our teaser, we're gonna do just a couple of teaser preps. Begin by seating, sitting on the front edge of the box. Leave your feet on the platform. Arms are reaching forward, and I want you to just round through your back, and then round Forward, go too far and let your back stretch. We curve backward, curve forward. Two more, back we go. Forward and again. And forward. All right, I'm gonna use the straps with the one red spring. If you know teaser isn't your jam, don't use the straps at all. Just go through it with me on the box. You can even put the box on the floor so it's very stationary and very steady. Otherwise, I'm gonna grab these straps. So, one for each hand. You wanna be on the front third of the box. Not so far that you feel like the box is tippy, just a little bit back. Okay. You just need enough space so that you don't feel like you're going to fall forward as you're up here. All right, guys. Why don't we do a little test to see you're in the right spot of the box. So your butt's on that forward third. Let's bring our legs up towards a tabletop position and just move the arms backward and forward and just kind of get a gauge on your balance. Okay, so a couple of those. Now, here's where we go wrong. Don't shift forward when you lay back. You just measured your booty in the right spot. Keep it there. So now, down we go. Perfect. My shoulders are off the back edge of the box. Of course, so is my head. And my arms open wide like a T. My legs drape over the foot bar. This is the best part of teaser. Hands down. All right, now the trick is your head must be higher than your hands as you roll up. So inhale, begin to head nod. I'm starting to crunch forward. Then my hands and my feet lift. And then I'm going to lower through my lower back as I keep reaching through my hands to get down slowly, head and feet in unison. 
exhale head nod rolling forward once we're up here pull those shoulders back give me a nice v shape curve through the small back and down okay we're going to get fancy we're going to stay up head nod on that exhale squeezing the legs of booty okay we're in our v lower and lift your legs can be hanging out on tabletop if that's a better place one more only just four arms forward roll through your lower back and then down all right so seven variations of teaser good news i'm not doing them all that was one i'm now gonna jump to seven so this one is double leg stretch okay so we have our v or v diamond hands are grabbing on the outside of the thighs here we go arms and legs forward like hundred turn your toes out the arms go back around head nod Ooh, right into that balance come down yeah it's like the same from the mat slow double leg stretch here we go hundred open those feet big circle we go into back extension here arm circle around head nod Ooh, come all the way up and then catch the legs two more hundred exhale inhale back and around squeeze everything you've got come up slow coming down catch those legs last one here make it your best hundred position inhale we go back and over and let's do it finish well all the way up and then catch your diamond as you come down let your feet come down just drop the ropes and come up all right well done so let's get rid of our box we're gonna do those back splits as promised foot bar <clears throat> comes back up one red one blue this time we're standing, but we're going to face away from the foot bar. So I'm going to begin with my left foot forward, meaning my left foot just goes right at the shoulder rest or shoulder rest, the uh, headrest. I'm going to use my hands here on the shoulder rest for balance, reaching my foot back for the corner of the foot bar. Now I've got my leg my back leg here laterally rotated initially. So I'm just gonna bend down here so that I can really open this hip flexor. Okay, and once your feet feel stable, no hands. Press and bend. So this one now becomes a quad press movement while we're stabilizing and balancing here on the back leg. Four, five, six one more time come back in keep the feet where they are but come back now i'm going to turn my toe down a little bit i've sort of cut off the back corner and this guy is going to move toward russian splits so i'm going to go out for this nice split head hangs down and i'm going to look to my left come back in one more time that same side find your split head drapes over the leg look left head pulls down to the foot all the way back in all right other side right foot on the headrest crease reaching back okay my foot's more lateral you want this back leg lateral so you have a nice stable base to lift and begin those 
quad presses here. So my head is remaining level and I'm just pressing this thigh. I would look at the camera, but don't look at the camera, okay? Look forward so you can keep your balance. Good, and then we come down. All right, now, switching to that Russian split. So look at my back leg here. I'm gonna now turn it so my legs are more neutral. So my foot goes down the edge of the foot bar and I'm going out. Whew, find your split. Head drapes down. Look away from the back leg. And then come in, second time. Twist. All the way back in. Carefully step down and all the way down. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do a little bit of arm work. One red spring only. I need the straps here. I'm gonna kneel facing the foot bar. Feet right up against the shoulder blocks. Palms will face forward, the arms are straight. Knees directly below the hips. Press and return. Now notice my arms come behind my body. So this would be level one with the arms coming behind the body. It's restorative, it allows the stretch in between. If you wanna keep it athletic, your arms stop at the side of the body or slightly forward. Four, three, two, one. This time we're coming up for hug a tree. So now when we lift the arms forward, thumbs are up. My elbows are just a whisper about soft, wide, together. So when they're wide, I can still see my hands in my periphery. So keep that vision open on the sides, meaning your arms won't come so far back that everything pinches. Ooh, that's a little bit painful. So we want to keep it in front of the body. Three, two, one. Bring the hands down. Offering will be our last one. Palms up, forward. Palms up as they go wide. In the front, elbows to ribs. Drive it forward. Wide, together, and bend. Press, stretch, press, recover. Exhale, inhale. When your arms go wide to sides, keep those palms face up. We want that rotation in the shoulder. We want the stretch across the chest. Last time, forward, out, forward and in. Let's go ahead and we're gonna come down. All right, everybody likes a little feet in straps. So let's do that, meaning two red springs. Feet in straps, yay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my headrest flat. Let the legs go long. First, hamstrings, oh, that feels nice after those front and back splits. This is deliberately out of sequence. So I love this dot sequence. When you're just going through it, start to finish. But when you're just hand picking a few of these, I like to go out of sequence because this stretch at the end feels so lovely. Turn the toes apart, continue. We lift and lower. So basics here, keep your butt down. Make sure you're squeezing from the hamstrings and the glutes to push the legs forward. Internal rotation, please. Get all three of those hamstrings. Relax your face, your neck. Let your heart rate come back down. Heels in, toes out. 
knees bend, point, flex, point, flex. Right into stag, one wide, one bend, press together, switch. Stag has got to be one of my favorite feet and straps movements. I love the asymmetry. I love the stretch on the inner thigh. I like the challenge on the obliques. Figure out what makes this something enjoyable for you. This is a love-hate exercise. A lot of people don't enjoy it because of the coordination. I love it. One more. Now we're gonna go with frog. Keep the legs laterally rotated. They rise straight up. Without moving the machine, come down right into a diamond. Open the legs out wide without moving. Dorsiflex at the ankles, circle together. We lift, bend without moving the carriage. Wide feet, flex, legs together. Stay turned out throughout. Lift, down, out, together. You got it? Let's change it. Out wide, we're going in reverse. Hold it, no movement. Touch the toes, legs go straight up, and they push down. Open wide. So we want to go where we're almost in a straight line from foot to foot. Bend, lift, and down. Around, in, up. Final time, around. In, up. Let's get some leg circles up and around. I love the sound of the carriage. I love everything about Pilates, I think. Makes your body feel good. Makes you feel strong, flexible, balanced, capable, right? Let's reverse around, keeping the shoulders relaxed, all the bony parts grounded, your shoulders, your ribs, your spine, your hips, your tailbone. Last one. All right, we're gonna actually skip a short spine and go into a little happy baby. So just a little side to side. It feels oh so nice on your lower back, okay? And then we're gonna take our feet out and let's just drop them down. So we're gonna do a little bit of mat-based uh, exercises here. We do have the back of the shoulder blocks to hold. I prefer to actually grab the back edge of the carriage itself because sometimes people pull on these too hard and they lift. So we're gonna kind of end our routine here with some mat base. So scooch down, give yourself a little space. Tabletop the legs and then to a long line. So first, we're just gonna go straight over, flex the feet, hip distance apart, and then we come down right through the center of your back, legs lower, maybe touch that foot bar, point together, and again, hip height, hip width. Nice and slow. Two more. I'm not using momentum. I'm using strength. So check your pace. Nice and slow. And again. Hip height, hip width. And let's put the feet on the foot bar. So we're gonna try corkscrew now, which means our legs come over in the center just like before, but they're gonna twist and come down and then come back up, okay? So let's still keep our back going in the middle of the carriage, but we're gonna be rotated. So we start just the same, tabletop, long, over. Okay, so from here, we're gonna rotate 
And then as we come down, we're still in the middle of the machine, but I'm on the left side of my back. So all the obliques. So I get a nice little circle and over I'm rotating. So I'm coming through the middle of the machine on the right side of my back. Circle, notice my circles are not wider than the machine. So I'm just coming down and around. One more time, guys. So coming down on that right side, around. Now find yourself in the middle, right through the center. And let's put the feet down, rest side to side with the legs. Let's open up the arms, get a nice little chest stretch here. Oh, it feels so good. All right, so go ahead and roll your way up. Ah, you did it. So there we go, almost, almost 45 minutes of intermediate advanced work. Thank you for working with me, pushing yourselves out of your comfort zone and getting strong. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.